Leprechaun on the Loose by Marsha Jones, illustrated by Sid Moore. A leprechaun was loose in the classroom, and Sidney was the only one who knew it. Sidney saw teeny tiny green footprints on the floor. He followed them to the table where Mrs. Yoder had cupcakes for their St. Patrick's Day party. Sidney peeked inside the box. All the green icing had been licked off the cupcakes. Sidney set out to find the leprechaun. It was plain bad luck when he stepped on his own shoelace. Oof! Whoosh! Splat! Sidney fell right on the table. Sidney ruined our party snack, Della Puddington told everyone when Mrs. Yoder threw away the squished box. I didn't do it, Sidney said. It was the leprechaun. An itty bitty hee 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 came from behind the fish tank. But Sidney was the only one who heard it. During reading time, Sidney noticed something was wrong with the fish. He sneaked to the back of the room and looked into the tank. The leprechaun was swimming the backstroke, and the fish deftly were not happy. Sidney dove after the leprechaun. Plop! Kerplunk! Splush! Water soaked the table. Sidney ruined our decorations, Della cried, when Mrs. Yoder threw away the soggy paper shamrocks. I didn't do it, Sidney said. It was the leprechaun. Sidney was sure he heard a tiny little ha-ha-ha as he mopped up the mess. During science class, Sidney heard a creak-creak-creak coming from the hamster cage. Sidney tiptoed to the cage. He carefully opened the door and came face to face with the leprechaun. While Sidney and the leprechaun stared at each other, the hamster ran out the open door and across the table. Sidney dived after the hamster. Boom! Bam! Crash! Sidney fell against the table. Juice went everywhere, just as the hamster scurried out of sight. Our juice is gone, Della said with a sniffle. So are the decorations and all our cupcakes. Sidney ruined our St. Patrick's Day party. Sidney was sure he heard a faint tee-hee-hee -hee from behind the stack of reading books. Nobody believed that Sidney didn't do it. There was only one thing for him to do. He had to catch that leprechaun. At recess, Sidney sneaked past his teacher and ran to the art corner. Everything he needed was there. Sidney pounded and snapped and glued. Perfect, he said when he finished the leprechaun trap. Then he hurried into the lunchroom and looked through the lunch trays until he found a stinky tidbit of corned beef. Sidney carefully reached inside his leprechaun trap with the bait. Just then his foot knocked into the back of the trap. Swish! Clang! Zing! Sidney was caught inside. He heard the tippity-tap-tippy of itty-bitty boots. I do believe I've caught me a boy. That I have, said the leprechaun with a grin. Let me out, Sidney begged. The tiny man scratched under his tall green hat. Now why should I be wanting to do such a that? Sidney thought fast. Come closer and I'll tell you a secret, he said. Secret? I love secrets, said the leprechaun. As he inched forward, that's when Sidney made his move. He reached out and tickled the leprechaun right under his chin. Ha, 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 he, 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 ho, ho, ho. The leprechaun fell down and hit the trap door. The door flew open. Sidney rolled out and pushed the leprechaun inside. Swish, clang, zing. I've got you, Sidney yelled. Now I can prove that you ruined the party, not me. Party, said the little man. I'll make you a deal. Let me go and I'll save the party. Then I'll be gone and you'll never see me again. How can a leprechaun save our party, Sidney asked. With me, treasure, of course. 
Should he keep the leprechaun and prove he didn't ruin everything? Sidney wondered. Or should he let the leprechaun go home and save the party for all his friends? Sidney was running out of time. His class was right outside the door. He had to decide. Quick, tell me where your treasure is, Sidney said. He leaned close and the leprechaun whispered in his ear. Sidney knew a deal was a deal. He opened the trap door and watched the leprechaun climb out. The leprechaun turned one last time and tipped his hat at Sidney. Then the teeny tiny man slipped out the window and was gone. Sidney found the treasure right where the leprechaun said it would be. It was just what he needed to save the party. The class cheered. Even Della Punnington smiled at Sidney. Mrs. Yoder wasn't mad at him any more, even if she didn't quite believe where Sidney got the party supplies. Sidney was finally able to forget all the trouble the leprechaun had caused. Then Sidney heard something terrible. Excuse me, lad, said a tiny voice from behind. Sidney's box of crayons. I'm looking for my brother. Have you seen him anywhere?